Is this thing on? Hello everybody and welcome back to another Skyblock with Technojock where once again I have proven myself incapable of resisting from destroying all my stuff. In between episodes I was working with some radioactive material and had my hazmat suit on and then promptly leapt into the void because I thought I had had my jetpack on and completely forgot and uh, ended up losing pretty much all of my stuff. I managed to keep my bow and one of the swords of the wyvern because I had soul bound on it um, and all my armor was okay because it was happily sitting on an armor stand but everything else that was in my inventory went into the void. So um, yeah, so I lost my pickaxe, I lost my um, necronomicon, not necronomicon, my thominomicon um, and uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff. So um, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. I did lose a fair amount of stuff, but not everything. So as you can see, to replace the pickaxe, I made myself a pickaxe of the wyvern. So I've been using that rather than a tinker's tool now. Um, and fortunately, I had enough ingots and I managed to make a healing axe as well. But enough of that at the moment. I am doing some things. I am making myself an energy transfer node, and whilst that's making a horrible, horrible, horrible noise, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make myself a lot of upgrades. I want, I want, how many do I want? I need, I need 60, 128 two stacks, so I need 256? Yeah, yeah. 256 of them. Please? That'll be fine. And I need an awful lot of these, so I'll make 512 for the moment. And hope that that's going to be sufficient. Because we are going to be min-maxing stuff. Oh yeah. Eight and four. So that gives me all of those that I need. These things are obviously going to take a little while. Really? It's taking all that time just to make sticks. Never mind. Wow. It's going to take 1,500 diamonds just to make these. That's a lot of diamonds. Okay, well, you yeah. know. That's how it's going to be, because I need to upgrade this thing. Um, I want to put, I don't want some of those ones, I want these ones. These ender chests are already set up, ready for this, and I think I need to take that off. I think I need to, I definitely need to. So I need to go put that on the side. Yeah, and then... We'll put one stack of that in there, and then I need to put the other one up there, and I'm going to put another stack there. We'll start filling that up relatively slowly, but you'll see these two are linked. Now I need another two nodes as well. I think I have another two nodes. A lot of nodes. Nodes, please. Yes, I have two more nodes. How are we doing for our world interaction? There we go. We're starting to get them in. Right. Okay. As they come in, we will start working on them. We probably will not get to this completely upgraded today. But, um, yeah. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do that, and then we're going to do all that. Do the right way around. Yeah, we'll do it like that. And, whoop. and then we're going to go like that. And this one already has, and we'll go like that. Okay, so. That's going to be all filled up. Each of these has a stack of speed upgrades and a stack of world interaction upgrades. That's cool. That's 
always going to keep up with that. And, yeah, that's fine. For the time being. I will want to fill those completely up with world interaction upgrades somewhere. It's very loud over here. Sorry about that. Yeah, these will be completely filled up. The, the best way of doing um, transfer nodes for a cobble gen is one stack of speed upgrades and then world interaction upgrades to fill up the rest, so long as you've got an ender chest right next to it. So, doing it this way, with all four faces covered, like that, is the best way. It's not ideal to have that barrel there, but in the great scheme of things, it's going to be okay. Um, and so, world interaction upgrades. Still got more. Three and four, so I can do another round of them. It's going to be very expensive doing this, but it will be worth it in the long run. And necessary. I wonder how I can uh, go about increasing our diamond intake again. Probably this might help in the long run as well. Okay, let's go put all that in there. And let's go over there, I think. I'm going to start. Yeah. Over here. Let's turn on chunk borders and just have a look and see where we're going to go. I think around about there. Okay. And I'm going to start off with the glass fiber cable. And I'm going to go... I could get the draconic chest plate and the flight. That would be quite good. Right. Next up, put these down. So we're gonna have three across the bottom, all like that. Then we're gonna have one there. Oh, I've made this too big. That's fine. This down. There we go. And there, and there. No. Like that. Make sure that's on lossless, obviously. And there we go. Right. That's better. Like that. Perfect. So that will be all of those powered. Once we get power over here, we can turn off the chunk borders now. And let us stand here. Now, we are going to require one of these. Um, let's come back out a bit. One of these there. Is it? No, 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 that's going to be on the back, that one. I actually need another one, the other colour. That's going to be like that. Um, do I want to keep... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to do that. There we go. Right. Um, yeah. Let's head on over here and grab ourselves another ender chest. And I will need grey dye. Okay. It's getting very, very noisy in my base nowadays. I need another ender chest, thank you. I've got quite a bit of stuff now automated in terms of the no the um, patterns available to us. Grey dye, please. Uh, I want ink. Mm-hmm. 
and I want bone meal. Bone meal. And that'll do. And we'll go back up here. Actually, I want the nodes. So I need. Ooh, right, okay. Nodes. Ah, that's good. I need. Eight of those, and I want eight of those. Perfect, excellent. And now, I also want some stack upgrades. I don't have the pattern for those. Stack upgrades, please. Of course it requires more diamonds. Why wouldn't it require more diamonds? Molecular like assembler, please. And we'll put that upgrade there. And I want this stack upgrade. And I'll have... Um, like that. Perfect. That will work. So, let's head on up here. And put that there, so that, that can go there. And we'll go... Boop, boop. There we go. So we've got that. Then we're going to go... Like that. That, that, and like that. Perfect. Then, we're going to go around and we're going to go and get these things to pick up a full stack each. Like this. Definitely going to need more diamonds. Right, that's those all got a stack upgrade. Cool. Let's come out this side. Let's um, come out like this so we've got a little platform to stand on because we need the eight transfer nodes. We're going to do the exact same as we did on the other side with the re retrieval nodes. Um, I'll like that. So we're going to go round like that. Yeah. And one more. There we go. So in this ender chest we will get once we've uh, once we've got power in here we will have a whole system that will be making scrap for us. Which is rather nice. Let's go. I actually want to change this around a little bit because what have we got? I have a crafter there. Hmm. Yes. Actually, I've done that slightly wrong. I want to get that transfer node and I want to get a pipe. Not because I want to smoke a pipe, but because I want that. Yeah, that's what I want. In fact, I only need one of those. Like that. Uh, but I do need another node. Um, doesn't really matter if it's a... Uh, one of those or not. Let's see... Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, yeah, I think that'll work. And I need more upgrades. So I need... Do that. And I need another stack upgrade. Like that. 
So let's take this up here. Because if I go put that here, that will pull in EU power. Of which I'm going to put this solar panel on the top just now. There we go. That is powering everything up. And it is happily going and trying to make scrap. And it is succeeding in making scrap. Good, good. Now, I don't want that in there at this point. I want... Do, 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 the crafter. Because the crafter is going to go in here. Nope. Not like that, it's not... Let's just do that. What is that got? Ah, right, okay. That's for something else I was doing. Alright, forget all that. Let's take the scrap and go like this. Yeah. And it's going to make those scrap boxes. That's better. And then, now that's using power. Has it really not used any power? How is it getting power then? It will use power. It clearly won't use an awful lot of power, but it will start using that power up. Um, so when that happens, I'm going to put that in there, and that makes that into an energy pipe as well. So not only will it get scrapped through that pipe, it will also get the power from the transfer node. Excellent. That's what we wanted. So that's going to slowly but surely make us scrap boxes. And then we're going to put that on there. We're going to put a stack upgrade and a speed upgrade. And then we're going to put one of these. Away. Let's come back over here. Let's take that out. And let's do that out. Right, that is pretty good. Now, I need to go and put. This is only going to do for some of them. Uh, so we'll do for the top ones, I suppose. These can take 16, it would appear, is your proper maximum, really, of doing this. Now, that's going to destroy that power output, but mind you, that's not bad. What's that? Increased power to 184,000%. How is that still keeping up with it, though? Hmm. Weird. Well... What are we doing? If we take that down to... Well, that's keeping up. 12 is kinda... 10, definitely. Hmm. Alright, in any case, it doesn't really matter because we are going to upgrade that a lot soon enough. But that means now we have got a brown ender chest that has got scrap boxes. Really, can I not pick up that? I'd really like to just kind of pick that up and not have to worry about it. Or alternatively, not pick it up at all. Right. So we don't want scrap coming out of there. We want the scrap like that. There we go. Cool. That's that bit sorted out. Quite happy with how that's looking. Mm -hmm. Now then, we need to worry about the next bit, which will be the mass fabricator and the replicator will be our next bit. So the mass fab and the replicator obviously go together. Mass fab is going to take those and... Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. But that's for the next time. Min-maxing this one has been very successful, so now we've got... 
Once we get the power upgraded there, as we get more and more solar powers, we'll be able to make those go faster and faster. So I'm going to get that worked out for the next episode. But until the next time, bye bye and have a funs. And don't throw yourself into the void with all your stuff on. Hmm. Bye bye.